This is like, you can see all of the little s um, sl slits, slats yeah. in the, that's like where the soldiers would have arrows pointing out and they'd shoot arrows from like all the little lines in the, yes. like this, openings, yes. all these little narrow openings. Right. So they're like part of the watchtower, but at the same time, they're also like blocking, um, they're protecting the archers from shooting arrows out of the. So it's the Jaffa gates. Yeah. And what happened Jaffa at the Jaffa gates? Um, was this pre-David or? Well, this is the gate, the road from this gate leads to Yafo, which is on the sea. Okay. And so you can, in the New Testament, you hear like, this is where they went to catch a, a boat to like different places okay. in Yafo. So this gate leads to Yafo Gate. Like, sorry, this is Yafo Gate, Yafo. and this leads to the city of Jaffa that's near Tel Aviv. Pretty cool. You can pretty much walk around or just. Yeah. Yeah, you can walk around freely here. And it's what I love about Jaffa Gate and Damascus Gate. It's like in the Bible when you read like the road to Damascus, mm -hmm. the road that Paul had his like encounter with God. It happened on the road to Damascus, which is the road that leads to Damascus Gate, which leads to Jerusalem City. You know, and then like Jaffa Gate, it's like the road to Yafo. It goes all the way to the port where so many people, like so many of the apostles, had to take a boat so they can sail and like do their ministry in other countries. It was from that port. Wow, that's cool. Yes. Huh. See, some of them like this has got to be old. Because you can see them how they're in pieces mm -hmm. as opposed to the front which is smoother and there's like even little holes on the side yeah i love jerusalem we'll have to like during one of the days that i have an afternoon free we'll have to go and walk up on the old city walls it's beautiful you can walk on top mm -hmm. Now we're heading towards that valley. The Ben Hinnom Valley, yeah. Valley. I love the trees. See that on the bottom? The olive trees? Those are olive trees? Yeah. The ancient trees. The fatter the trunk is of an olive tree, the older the tree is. Mm -hmm. wow. So that one's pretty old. And you know what's really cool about the olive tree? Mm. It dies and regrows around itself. So that's why you see all those roots in the rent, like the right. So that's curvy. why you see it like the fatter and fatter and fatter it is. It's like the tree has died that many times and grown around itself wow. and kept going and kept growing. Look at that one up there with all the little curves, like like in the body looks like it's like snakes. Yeah, all see the trees. Yeah, they're so beautiful. Yeah. This was like accredited to an area like behind this barrier thing. It's a, it's now a concert venue, but it's oh, yeah. a place that they say like Solomon had a pool at and would come and like bathe here. You gotta see all the sitting. It's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's they do free concerts sometimes. Yeah, you see like little green seats. And you can walk around in there whenever. Yeah. It's usually open to the public, like whenever. When there isn't doesn't even need to be a concert, it's just a path that you can walk to the old city from there. Okay. Yeah, there it is. And what is up there? It looks like a windmill. So this is oh I like it. This is um Yemen Moshe. Oh yeah, so, so 
Lemon Moshe is the oldest neighborhood in Jerusalem. Hmm. It, during the time of when everyone was living inside of the old city walls of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. there was a man, um, I forget his first name, but his last name was Montefiore, and he was the first man that ventured outside of the city walls to create the first village outside of Jerusalem city walls. And so that's where he built the windmill. The windmill is like the original windmill. Okay. Yeah, the top of it, it during the war, um, one of the wars, the top of the windmill fell off and they rebuilt it, but the base of the windmill is the original windmill. That's pretty small. Yeah, and so he built that village and then he like kept building houses so that people would come and live outside of the city walls because they wanted to grow Israel outside of just the old mm -hmm. city. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The houses are so European and there's flowers everywhere. He was obviously Italian. He, well, he was a winemaker. So <laughs> okay. he also, like, one of the things that he did is on these hills, he had a vineyard. Yeah. And he would make windmill. The windmill was a wine press. He would make oh, wow. wine inside of the windmill. Okay. And then today, the windmill is still sells his wine from his right. vineyard but the vineyard the vines have been moved outside of Jerusalem wow. um, but the inside of the windmill you can go in there and you can do wine tasting for mm -hmm. for his vineyard yeah. this is Mount Zion Hotel nice, nice view